Quick video here going over seasonality of the market. Obviously, the market's been ripping. Bulls have been buying every single dip. So I just wanted to go over quickly what happens. This is an election year, as you guys know. And as you guys see here, just got a little chart. This is a seasonality of the last 50 years of elections. So it's just showing you what's happening here. Obviously, this chart's from a little while ago, but it's been mostly following here. I mean, we did bottom in April instead of mid-March, as you guys will see here. So yeah, right here, end of April is when we bottomed and then started that runoff. And then, so if that's delayed by a month, you see the runup we've been having. We've had that in the market as well since April, run up here. And then mid-July-ish, we topped out, which also you guys see here, it says mid-July-ish, we top out, come down and then go to all-time highs. Right now, we topped out mid-July, we pulled back and now we're running back up. We haven't got back to all-time highs yet, but if this seasonal chart is right, we bottomed a little, about a month later than usual. So maybe we have this run up here, maybe a month later, which would be right now as we're filming right now is August 26th. So it'd be end of August right here. As you guys see, this is the window of August. It said we run straight up to all time highs and then we kind of go sideways into late September. So looking at it right now, we are at a bit of a no man's land on spot. I would say, as you guys see here, we had the all time highs back here on july 16th a lot of the time topping is a process it's not just a single day that sells off you guys see back here on july 10th the rsi was way up at 85 almost now while we did go on to make new all-time highs it was just kind of mostly sideways up down up down up down all the way into the mid july where we actually did top out and started rolling over had a big pullback ended with that big gap down with vic 65 on the yen carry trade and now we have fully recovered that in record speed rsi is again back up here um the g only gap that was left to the upside has been filled and you guys see the uh, the macd here has kind of looked like it's topping out almost about to cross down stochastics are way overdone rsi is way back up at that overbought level so it's tough to say where we go in the intermediate term but longer term here we are entering the most hectic time of the year which is late august early september into early october where we usually bottom near the end of october in election years so just pay attention to this chart it's very hard to go along with any type of size here for me personally intraday trades are fine but as far as swing trades go you got to be very selective you got to be a stock picker and you kind of want to avoid these months trading in general from what i know from my past experience DJI, so we're gonna go over here, Dow Jones as well. Dow Jones just hit a new all-time high today, actually, if you guys look at the election year seasonality here, you got the election years in blue and you got the average in whatever that is, brown, yellow, peach, whatever you wanna call it. If you guys see here, mid-March again was the bottom on election years. It's almost a similar chart to the SPX on election years. Had that big run up into mid-July, which is almost perfect big drop ran right back up back to all-time highs by the end of august which is coming up this week i believe this friday is the last day of august and then we got a little bit higher early september and then the sell-off started until late october so that's what it is right now another thing that's it's lining up with if we do have that big run up now into the end of august it's lined up perfectly with this chart right here which is nvidia nvidia reports earnings on wednesday and I think that could be the catalyst to launch us even further. We might get a new all-time high and then a month and a half of pain right here. As you guys see, it's just sideways beginning of September into mid-September. Then we start downside into the end of October. Obviously, this is not exact. As you guys seen back here, it said we bought them in mid-March, which we did not. We actually bought them in mid-April. Is everything pushed back a month? Is this even accurate? It's just something to throw in your toolbox and think about before you start getting too heavy in longs right now. As usually, the market is known to be pretty bad in September. Other than that, just uh, pay attention day by day. Let's see what happens. And let's see what NVIDIA reports for earnings. Thank you, guys.